Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Kent Hungerford, specialist podiatric surgeon and podiatrist from Relief Health Group here in Shell Harbour. And today I'm here to tell you a little bit more about AI in healthcare, but more in particular, Heidi. Heidi Health, Heidi Health AI, and it's basically that AI um, consultation helper to write our notes and our letters for us. And it's something that I'm really, really excited to share um, as part of this, and as well as a few other different areas that we're going to look into. Uh, and you know, I'm hoping that you can access these as well and really start having a bit of a look about how Heidi might be able to help you in clinic. But let's jump into it a little bit more. And let's start about, you know, looking at an overview of AI in healthcare, because there's so many different areas that AI is really helping these days. And there's so much that's going to be happening over, um, you know, what we're looking uh, in the future as well. But basically that artificial intelligence or the AI is transforming healthcare. It's enhancing our diagnosis, our treatment, and our patient management, making everything a lot easier, not only for the practitioner, but hopefully for the patient and their journey of care. But there's some real key applications. One of those is in clinical decision support, so those AI algorithms analyzing the medical data to really assist in diagnosing diseases and recommending treatments. There's also predictive analytics, so that predictive models forecast the patient outcomes and are identifying those at-risk populations. But then we also look into medical imaging, and I'm really excited about this in the future as well. So it's enhancing the interpretation of medical images, improving the accuracy and efficiency in detecting those conditions. And that can even allow further access in our regional and rural communities through untrained practitioners um, or even assistants where we can then get you know, more support from our metro areas where we might have those specialists then interpreting and undertaking those uh, you know, further consultations and um, once analyzing those images. But then we start talking about personalized medicine. You know, those AI tailoring treatments to individual patient profiles based on their genetic and clinical data. And this is you know, a really hot topic at the moment as well. But then we start talking you know, a little bit more what we're looking at here is that operation efficiency, streamlining those administrative tasks, um, the, the scheduling, the billing, the resource management, the notes, uh, and that's a really key part. Um, but those benefits really, you know, could also include some other things uh, as well. And so, you know, what we're really looking here is, you know, helping to reduce the cost to the patient um, and not necessarily just financial, but also time. Uh, and of course, we're bringing in the practitioner there too. But let's talk a little bit more about Heidi Health AI um, because really this is a this is a fantastic option. Um, it's one that I've been using since February now. Um, I, I was an earlier adopter, and you know, upfront, I'm a brand ambassador, so I do like Heidi. But there are other different groups on the market as well. Um, none that I've seen that are as good nor as cost effective as Heidi. Um, but it's basically an advanced note-taking software designed specifically for the healthcare professionals. Um, it leverages this artificial intelligence to streamline and enhance clinical documentation, taking the bother out of it. It improves efficiency, the accuracy is off the charts, and overall quality of patient records should be very much heightened. And only yesterday I, I was saying, you know, that the, the, the uh, you know, note that I was provided was just everything I could ask for and even more. And that's really what's prompted me to get up today and have a little bit more of a chat because really that purpose is to assist us as healthcare providers in capturing and managing patient information efficiently. The technology utilizes natural language processing and machine learning algorithms, um, and really it's, it's easily available. You know, it's a quick login on a web or on your mobile app. I do it just through my Google login, um, which is linked through my, um, you know, the business. And so it's a really simple thing that you'll, you know, within five to 10 seconds, you're already logged in and you're ready to press start recording so that you can get into that consult really quickly, even if you've only just logged into the computer. But really the key features here are that automated note taking. It's converting this spoken into that written input um, and then into that structured medical notes through the templates. And you know, the ability to customize these templates and pull that information out of you know, an hour, hour and a half consult, um, or even just a, a five to 10 minute one is really something that I find you know, really beneficial. Um, and you know, having these templates, and we'll talk about this a little bit more later, because having those templates really helps to um, 
strength and everything. And you know, per specialty, they've already got some that are built in. And for myself, I definitely significantly customize for what I want in my notes. Um, you know, not only to jog my memory, but to make sure that we're on the right track and we're not missing anything. The voice recognition side um, with Heidi is, is really something that um, you know, a few of my colleagues have really asked about. Um, you know, wh whether they, they have quite a thick accent of you know, different nationality, um, and for those that are born here or born overseas, um, whether you have sort of a, a reasonably um, you know, fluent accent, it doesn't matter, it really picks it up. And I've seen this um, with some of my practitioners that may, um, or colleagues that have thicker accents. And then for myself with patients coming through with you know, more difficult to understand um, language and speech, um, it, it cuts through that, it really does that have that high recognition and that high um, accuracy that really helps with the documentation clarity and definitely that accuracy. You know, with the integration to the um, electronic health records, you know, whatever we're using, whether it's um, a Clinico, Nurkle, um, you know, a, a Genie, our best practices, uh, you know, there's all these different electronic health records and definitely the groundwork's there to start that integration, which is meant to be happening really, really soon. I'm talking to some of the, uh, uh, the Heidi team directly. Um, but really, when it comes back to everything, data security is just such a key component. Now, Heidi is an Australian company. Um, uh, the Australian servers are based in Melbourne. Uh, it is a really uh, you know, a appropriate way to make sure that we are in line with our Australian and also most international regulations. Um, you know, across the Europe, Europe um, across the USA with the HIPAA compliance, um, but in, in Australia as well, we've got that um, sec uh, Australian security confidentiality side of things uh, and everything is um, top-notch here with Heidi. Um, I've looked through the policies in depth, I've talked to um, everyone around this, um, it's just a really uh, important aspect that I think they have covered off on very effectively. Um, of course we get consent from our patients and we'll go into that in a little bit more depth um, in a, a future session as well. But really, the, the benefits for me is that increased efficiency. It just really reduces the time spent on the documentations uh, and allows me just to focus eyes on my patients and really, you know, giving them all, all of me whilst they're in the room without having to worry about, okay, putting notes in. And when we would usually do that, we'd usually have some inaccuracies because, you know, we're having to recall things. But this is, you know, this has taken a transcript you know, immediately as we're saying it. And so it's going to minimize those errors in the patient records um, because it's, you know, the AI is taking that down. It's, it's predicting your thoughts, um, but of course do check everything. I have had the funny things come up um, when I'm consenting someone for maybe a foot surgery and somehow, you know, it's ended up being a pelvic surgery and, you know, a, a quick uh, start recording again or resume recording and, you know, giving it a little bit more context immediately brought everything back into the right context. And there's a few little learning things there, but, you know, for me, the benefits of Heidi definitely outweigh it. It definitely also helps with our improved collaboration. Um, you know, it really does help to um, you know be able to share these notes, copy them straight into the electronic health record. Having that deeper understanding and clarity within the notes is a really effective option. Um, but you know, it, it's a really nice way to look at it. But Heidi's also got that scalability. You know, whether it's um, you know just a small clinic, um, you know, like myself, I'm the only one with it here. Um, but otherwise, you know, if through to our larger clinics and into our hospitals, there's definitely the benefit there um, and the ability to have multiple people using Heidi quite effectively. Um, but most important for us is that, you know, that user interface, um, it's just, it, it's, that user experience is really important. And, um, you know, we've just upgraded to our um, Heidi version two, I believe it is. Um, and it's got a really nice intuitive design. It, it's, you know, you don't need much training, but we're going to give it to you. Um, and that's what I'm here to help with. Uh, but, you know, really, let's have a bit of a chat about some of those real world, uh, you know, applications. Because for me, you know, there's a few different things that I might do. You know, there's a very few uh, small percentage of my patients that are just doing like, you know, a routine care consult. And I'll just have this in the background and, you know, I'll pull some of those things out that often we'll just forget. You know, a lot of these sort of consults for some podiatrists might be just a copy paste. But this is really pulling out that detail that we want about, you know, how are they actually going? What are the small things that we're doing? 
doing? What's the education we're saying? And this is where Heidi really comes in to make it a lot quicker rather than us saying, oh, you know, this is a concern. But it means that we can verbalise, okay, well, there's hyperkeratosis to this area, there's fissure into this area, I'm putting an island dressing onto here. Uh, and once we're verbalising these sort of things, Heidi picks that up and it puts it into your notes. You know, another more simple or quicker consult for me is maybe a post post-operative uh, you know, consultation. And that's going to be a, a really different thing because it, it's usually quite quick. I'm doing a quick dressing. I'm, I'm saying, g'day, how are they going? Any signs of infection? This is what we're doing activity-wise. And I've got a really nice template that basically just fills itself in within about five to 10 seconds. And it just, you know, they, they're typically, I don't need to edit them because they are just so thorough, so concise that what I'm wanting is, is exactly there. But then we go into our complex initial assessments. Now for me, they can take 40 to 60 minutes, sometimes longer, um, you know, a really complex biomechanical maybe for, for others. And this is where we start to go, okay, well, there's quite a lot of content. We can't always write it all down, but Heidi's ticking along in the background. It's taking note. Um, you know, I'm, I'm saying some of my observations and how they're walking and what I'm concerned by and their, you know, their diagnosis and differentials and, you know, all of my, um, you know, my, my uh, plan and you know what we're going to put into place more conservatively and what are the surgical options what are the risks of you know doing something not doing something uh, and Heidi picks all of this up it puts it into the notes in a really nice way um, that we get to tailor through the templates um, which as I said we'll go through in a little bit more um, but you know that's a, a really nice thing now for me as a podiatric surgeon you know, that pre-surgical or consent consultation, whether it's part of that initial or the biomechanical, what I'm looking at there, it brings all of that back in. Now we feed into that template what we want it to pull out from what we're saying for accuracy, but when it comes up as the template giving exactly what you've said, it's, it's really satisfying to know, yeah, I am ticking all those boxes. We, we are making sure that the patient's understanding. Heidi's picked up that I have given them an information sheet on bunion or hamato deformities. You know, and this is what we're really talking about, making sure that our notes are accurate and they're reflecting what we're actually doing in our clinical workplace to the highest level, but then you know, formatting them in a really nice, concise way whilst having that thorough um, you know, ability there. And there'll be a few templates that we'll be have a bit of a look at uh, in uh, some future sessions too. But hopefully this has given you a little bit more um, information on Heidi. What I'd recommend is, is get started, get using it. Um, you know, if you scan this QR code, uh, it's going to give me, you know, maybe $10 or so um, when you sign up, um, which is very much appreciated for putting this on, but it's going to give you that first month free. It's about $99, $100 or so at the moment. Um, now for yourselves, um, you know, do scan it, have a bit of a look. Really though, what I want you to do is I want you to jump on and um, have a bit of a look uh, at some of these, uh, you know, different aspects that we can uh, jump into. And I've got a lot more information on, um, you know, my subscription the Relief Health Group's MHE free subscription. You can find that at this QR code and basically that's going to give you access to the next four recordings on what we're actually looking at with uh, Heidi Health, um, Heidi AI, and that's going to give you those templates as well. And that's free through to the end of July. So jump on, have a bit of a look. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's work together. I'd love to see your templates as well. But in the meantime, reach out if you've got any concerns. Again, I'm more than happy to help. Um, I really am super enthusiastic about this because Heidi's just doing amazing things for you know my clinic efficiency and getting my letters out really on time. Uh, and there's just uh, very few concerns here. Um, you know, the, the simple little fix ups, I'm pretty happy. And you know, I would say definitely double check everything, make sure it is accurate. That's, uh, you know, a no brainer, but something worth mentioning as well. But for the moment, you know, jump on, have a bit of a look at our other sessions. Uh, but for the moment, I've been Kent. Thanks.